it that way is Canada. Right over there. Oh, this is Dill Sport Apocalypse. I'm here in Bayfield. I'm gonna cross over to Madeline Island. The snow is a little bit too deep on the lake, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. Okay, what's going on here is my fingers were too cold to use on my phone to lock the drone onto me so it'll track across the lake. So right now I'm just going to have to land it and that's what I'm doing. I'm pushing the land the damn thing button. And it's just, uh, it's just what happens in these cold temps. I still enjoy riding, but I do get these technical difficulties from time to time. Well, I can't get the drone up. Too cold to work. That was a lot of fun. Well, I'm just going to drive across. Use the other. Uh, just use the other. Just use the GoPro. Tried messing with the drone, but either my fingers are too cold to make it uh, the controls work. I don't know. Anyway, I'm here in Bayfield. We're going to cross the Madeline Island. So they plowed the road pretty wide here. Like if you watch Ice Road Truckers. And it's windy. Yeah, I just couldn't get the drone to work. Actually, the bike's leaning sideways because it's that windy. Yeah, I have no idea how thick the ice is, but this is the ice road from Bayfield to Madeline Island. It's got a speed limit of 15 miles an hour. Boy, it wants to blow me right off the tires. So we're crossing the Madeline Island right now. And the snow's too deep on the main lake here for me to ride out there. But I'll give you guys a tour of the uh, a tour of the island. So I'm going uh, over the speed limit. I'm doing 18 miles an hour. And what they do is they stick pine trees out here. These are Christmas trees, and they they make a big pile of them, and then they come out and they auger a hole, and and that's how they uh, can mark the road going across. I don't know if you can see the Christmas trees. get over on the island and check that out. It's blowing, probably blowing 30, 40 mile an hour. So I can lean the bike right over. Actually the bike's leaning into the wind. I'm like leaning uh right there a little bit. Oop, I was speeding. I was doing 20. i tell you what, the wind chill is kind of chilly. A little bit nipply. I could probably cut diamonds with my nipples. 
Actually, I stay pretty warm on this. My hands are good. Uh, my body, uh, I've got the right gear to ride in this stuff. Feet are warm. Body's warm. Highly recommend this jacket I'm wearing. I've got two uh, thin base layers on and just the jacket, nothing more. I got a pair of long johns on and then I got my snow pants. And I'm not all uh, like bulky like Ralphie from the Christmas story. gets cold on me is my face but I don't want to wear a snowmobile helmet so I'm just dealing with it thinking who's that crazy son of a bitch on a motorcycle crossing uh, driving across Lake Superior here so I wanted to open it up but I saw there was a game warden sure shit he'd give me a ticket for going over 15 well, I think I can get 25 no problem ain't gonna bother me there but I wanted to see if I can get her up to about 50 I don't know if that'd be wise on this. That wind blow me right off. So almost two miles so far this is. <laughs> So we'll do a tour of the island, Madeline Island, right here on Lake Superior. We'll go check out some of these fishermen. We'll do that first. No speed limit on this. wind to about rip my helmet off. She's a cold one. I don't know if you can hear that wind trucking. About 70 miles an hour right into my face. I'm not bitching, I'm actually having fun. We'll hit it the other way though, it'd be a lot, uh, maybe I can match the speed of the wind. Well, there's the airboat, that's how they cross. When it's like slushy and, and um, not real good, they got a big airboat. And right there it is. It's called the Ice Angel 5, or maybe that's 4. So that's how they get across, they ride the airboat. And then during the summer they use a ferry. Do a little tour of the island. So I just rebuilt my carburetor. Um, it's not fully uh, tuned yet. So there's a little pin right there that I need to get out. And in the book it says really easy, but yeah, that's not working. 
So I'm on Madeline Island here. Let's go look around. I don't want to drive on the paved. Oh, that's a nice house. That's the ice road. That was Madeline Island Museum. Oh, is it windy? She's a windy one. She's definitely a windy one. I'm already lost. I'm not real familiar with the island. There's the beach club. I'd like to swing in there and get a Bloody Mary, but then I would probably get a little loosey-goosey and get some whiskey throttle. Don't really need that happening. Not when it's cold as F. Back to the ice road. Yeah, I don't know how big the island is. Pretty big. But you gotta ride a ferry to get over here in the summer. And, they, and then they use an uh, that ice boat, that air boat. You know, during uh, early winter, they probably got to ride that, you know, go to their doctor appointment. And then when they get a good enough road out there, then they can start driving it. Yeah, I got to do some tweaking on the carb. I think I've got some guts sitting over here to look at. I only had just a couple parts left over, so should run fine, I think. Oh, there's another ice rig. Airboat. Airboat Deluxe. I don't know what the hell that means. We'll go this way. Someone building a cabin. Getting ready for the apocalypse to happen. You know, if, you're, if, you're, if it was like a zombie apocalypse, you want to be on an island. You know, I learned that from watching zombie movies. Everybody's trying to get, an, get to an island. That's how much snow there is. Four feet of snow on top of the van. Oop. Oh, that wind has got some wicked to it. Yeah, it'd probably take an hour or two to tour this island. We're going to get on the ice road here. on Lake Superior. Right over there is Bayfield. A couple miles away. That wind is trucking. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to haul ass on this. That wind would just blow me right over.
probably pop a wheelie on the lake, you know. I wouldn't want to haul ass on this. It's got uh, like pressure ridges and shit that dumped me for sure. Straight that way is Canada. Right over there. You can't see it, but there's Canada over there. If you can hear that wind it, it's so loud in my helmet from this wind I can barely hear myself talk uh oh shit that's doing double the speed limit I get a ticket now. So when I went to the island, the right side of my face was cold. And coming back to Bayfield, the left side of my face is cold. I think just, it's just too deep for me to drive out there, I'd do it. Maybe there's a spot where I can try it. Too goofy. Ice is a little too, it's not real uh, conducive to riding on. Maybe there's another spot. time.
working. Too deep, I'll get stuck out there. I had to use my legs, kind of push a little bit.